It's probably no surprise that racism in healthcare, housing, employment, and education directly impacts racial disparities in health, from infant mortality to life expectancy, from chronic disease to infectious disease. But did you know that racism can also impact the health of our entire society, including the health of white communities? That's right. Living in racist communities can shorten the lives of both black and white folks. In 2016, a study from UC Berkeley found that living in an overtly racist community was linked to higher risk of dying from heart disease and other related diseases among both white and black residents. This was the first study to measure relationships between white people's racial bias and the health of whites and blacks in their community on a large scale. The study controlled for a variety of other factors we know to influence health and heart disease, such as a person's age, education, income, and living in a rural versus urban area. And even after considering all of these other factors, living in a racially hostile environment was significantly detrimental to both the group targeted by racial bias, in this case, blacks, as well as the group harboring the racial bias, in this case, whites, leading to shortened life expectancy across both. Other studies have also found this link with white and black adults experiencing increased mortality risk when living in a community with higher levels of racism. So how and why does this happen? One possibility lies in our social connectedness and trust in one another. People who live in communities where racism is prevalent may be less likely to trust and bond with others. This lack of social connectedness can have negative health implications for the entire community, regardless of one's race. Think of our social networks as a web. Social capital is how strong that web is, based on the number and strength of ties we have to each other. Community-level racism can disrupt social capital, or the strength of relationships we have to people within our network. But having strong social capital can be the key ingredient that helps a community recover from adversity, whether it's a natural disaster or economic recession, and promote overall community cohesion and well-being. This growing body of work tells us that the stakes are too high to ignore and can be a matter of life and death. Racism is like air pollution. It's particularly harmful for communities who experience higher levels and it's also harmful for the entire population.